for the A's podcast, where we talk all things art, culture, and entertainment, but specifically a lot of stuff to pop culture. And with me today, I have my boy, Aaron. What's good? What's good, everybody? Nice to be back. Good to be here on this beautiful Friday evening when we're recording this. Excited to talk news. Excited about life. Yes, sir. Okay. But um, the last thing uh, we we brought up uh, <laughs> brought up some entanglements earlier. <laughs> this kind of leans more into the uh, pop culture news aspect of what we talk about here on the ace podcast so have you kept up with this whole shebangle about um the snitch man himself august alcina fucking up the game for us um, then i'm 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 pretty caught up i'm pretty i'm pretty versed okay the details of what's going on with, with all this all these entanglements right so uh, today as we uh well as we have recorded this um a Red Table Talk episode has come out from Jada and Will just kind of addressing a lot of the, the rumors and, and speculation about the nature of their relationship and everything that happened with August. Um, and it's only 12 minutes, but it's a really loaded 12 oh. minutes. And um, Very telling. Very telling. Um, I, I used to be a regular for Red Table Talk for like the first season. I think what it's doing in terms of content is actually really good. This episode was very different. Um, Will's no stranger to the show, but I think this was definitely a situation of you could see. I was telling my mom earlier, I'm like, you can see pain in a man's eyes that's rooted in how deeply he loves somebody else. And despite this having happened like four and a half, five years ago, you can clearly tell there's still some some residual emotions to it. I, oh, yeah. It still affects him. Yeah. I don't think he wanted to talk about it, but I think he knew he had to for the sake of public image and where culture is now in terms of these conversations. It's kind of unavoidable and it would right no he didn't it would follow yeah him. yeah he, he even said it like it's, it's not a it's not anybody's business but i mean since since they hear and this is their platform yeah that's it and yeah man he you didn't tell she really hurt him and she did <laughs> right it was like they're like what did you do T- tell the people <laughs> what <laughs> so so we're at your show Tell him, Jada. What did you do? I'm like, ooh, that, ooh, that came from a, poof. <laughs> that came from a real place. He like said, said that was his whole chest. I feel like it was half. I feel like parts of it seemed like maybe not rehearsed to a T, but like things that they were gonna say before they went on camera, like yeah. the whole thing about him being very, very sick and stuff. I'm like, that felt like something that. Yeah. They got on the same page about also Which, the uh, the bad the bad marriage for life. That felt like something they had gone over before the camera started rolling. I thought that was just them being really really corny, but I can see that. I know the sickness thing is true because August Alcina disappeared from uh, from music. Like it did make a couple news headlines way back when it happened for him being sick. I wasn't sure what it was. All I know is that he was he was sick from something. Uh, I, th- I think it was a physical ailment, like lupus or something. And oh, okay. I thought they're talking about like mentally ill. Well, and I think I think that also subsequently happened too. I think it might have been a mix. Okay, I feel like I walked away from this the whole dread table talk, giving Jada the side eye because it didn't a lot of things didn't make her look good. It did not make her look very good. <laughs> I didn't realize there were so many people that didn't like Jada until recently. Um, I had no like, problem with Jada prior to this. I, I didn't, I've never had an issue with Jada. I mean, I've seen her in movies. I've seen her in a, she was great in a different world. I fucked with her heavy then. Um, I, I think, but I realized like, but the, then this is from even before the August testing and stuff, a lot of people have been suspicious about Jada as an individual um and i didn't realize that people were were suspicious of will either regarding his uh sexuality 
like I was listening to one of you know one of my go to podcasts, and she was like, I always got the vibe that Will was um uh kind of bisexual, and I'm like, really? I I never personally you know, and I have no problem with it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it, but I never got that vibe from him. I never got that vibe um, at all. I never. I mean, there's. I usually you can kind of tell. I don't want this to sound like that's a thing. You, it's not like you look at someone like, oh, they're straight, oh, they're gay, da da da. da. But um, like a fair amount of, I, I feel like in 2020, if he was, he would be probably one of the first to be out. Mm-hmm. Like by now, I feel like I feel like he doesn't want if he were to come out. I, mean, I feel like it would affect his his uh, not his. I may I guess part in his his market marketability because I know a lot of people like even the most. <laughs> I feel like even the most racist of people they're like like yeah, yeah. I don't like Bill even Smith, they like Will Smith Will Smith though yeah exactly and I feel like yeah. if he were to come out as bisexual. They'd be like, Will Smith is gay. Not my, like, they would, I don't know. I feel like that would. Yeah, and, and Even though like, in 2020, I feel like it would still hurt his his marketability. Yeah, and, Even and, though it wouldn't affect me, but I feel like certain more conservative people would kind of be turned off by that fact. No, I agree with you. And black people always have a, have a really big stigma with, like, potential, with black men potentially being, like, bisexual. Um is a really big issue with that, especially with like it regarding black masculinity. But I think in in Will's case, I just I think it's because him and Jada are very particular with how they brand themselves, not just as mm-hmm. a couple, but also as a family. Um, they're definitely one of those upper echelon black couples where we kind of don't really consider potential flaws in their relationship. Um, right. So Some of them like the, like the Hollywood equivalent to like the Cosby family or something. Yeah. Um, and, and I think another reason that people were suspicious of Will is kind of the nature of the manner in which he raised his kids. Cause his kids, uh, well, Two of his kids, Trey, no one talks about Trey, poor Trey. He's the oldest one. <laughs> he was the firstborn. But Jaden and Willow are very uh, atypical in, yeah. in, in regards to how they act culturally um, in comparison to like the expectations of black, black young Culture. adults around the same age. Yeah, no, I, I 100% agree. They're very, I feel like Will and Jada very much promoted the exploration of individuality within that. Right. In their, their, both their upbringings. Right. And, and I think, I, I think there, there's been a lot of conversations recently about whether or not Will and Jada still can be seen as a positive. Yeah, it's like a positive reflection of relationship. And at the end of the day, I still think it kind of is because even though I'm certain they were particular, they were extremely particular throughout that 12 minutes regarding what type of words, what the verbiage was, what the language was, the tonality of it. Um, so like you I could feel like Jada was more thought out than Will was, though. I feel like Will, yeah. there were certain moments Absolutely. of it, but Will was just like, like, let's go. Like, I'm going to I'm going to just I'm going to say. Like if you like, I'm gonna call you on some shit if you try to if you try to water it down or like play it down. Right. I, I, Jada seemed like she might have tried to do a little too much of because like when I'm watching it, I'm like, sis, just say what happened because she was really she was really particular. She's like, well, uh, when Og came to us, you know, you and I were separated at the time, and and what became was a uh, an entanglement. He's like. I can see the look in his eyes. He's like, entangled, bitch. <laughs> Thank you for to say what you mean. <laughs> he's, he's, right. He's like, he's like, oh, and it's a, a relationship. And I I noted how he corrected her. She's like, a relationship, yeah. And I'm like, she didn't want to say it. Exactly. <laughs> she she really didn't want to say that. Um but I, I think it can't I think they still do they still reflect 
despite going through this rough patch, despite going through that separation so many years ago in that fighting that almost pushed them to the brink of ending their relationship, I think there's still something to admire about the willingness to have a candid conversation with your partner and to still grow from it and like do work to improve the relationship. But the thing is, I, I going back to what you said about how Jada looks at the end of this, she doesn't, I'm not saying this is how I feel, but the way it looks is she doesn't come out looking like the good guy. No, because in my opinion, I feel like August, she, she even said this in a thing that she's someone that tries to vicariously heal herself by trying to help other people. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And August, when he met them, was in a very... I'm sure both physically and vulnerable place and right. caught her at a time where she was lacking something within her space. So to me, mm-hmm. it comes across as August fell in love with her from a place of, I guess from a place of vulnerability and like he, vulnerability like he and support. To her. Vulnerability and support. And then I felt like she views her experience with him as like a stepping stone to her own growth, which yeah. I feel like, granted, I feel like that's what relationships like technically kind of should be but just the they way of blaming you at that is is fucked up it right. can be not always but i think inherently is is kind of messed up it it there's a lot of positions that it hits from so if you're if you're what how it looks is that in a moment of separation and we don't know what will was doing my 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 head canon, my belief is that he might have tried it and realized it wasn't for him and that he really did really love Jada and he really couldn't bring himself to do it. I'm still, like, in terms of the timeline, it lines up. I think, I do kind of think he might have had a thing with Margot Robbie briefly and it just... Okay. 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 I think just for everything we know, Grant, we don't know everything about Will Smith. We, know everything we, about we don't know. I know. This is I my still... theory. Okay. Okay, say your theory. That, that's just uh, oh no i'm just saying my theory is that during because it was about four and a half five years ago that lines up with around the time focus and suicide squad were like filming so i do think there might have been a little thing with him and margot robbie that kind of petered out during their separation time but in regards to how it looks for jada my th- how i'm thinking is how this looks is that jada was in a moment of um emotional openness and receiving and working on herself being separated from will so august alcina was like 21 22 he's still a grown-ass man but he was also a grown-ass man in a emotionally and potentially health-wise physically vulnerable position taken in by this couple and ends up forming this strong relationship with someone who's much older than him and you know so it's like he he did develop a love for her but he ended up being like you said the stepping stone for her to get back with will but when will found out it still even though it wasn't it was only a separation so it wasn't like a full divorce and like in the grounds of legality and ethics it's not that bad but it's also you got to think about it her husband is will fucking smith right like yeah. in the eyes of most people, that's like as close as you get to a Disney prince, <laughs> especially in like the black community where there's a I lot of conversation, started. huh? I think she started it because everything we know publicly about Will Smith, he's all about all about winning. I feel like he's very much one publicly, very much wanted to be somebody who was about the foundation, about the family, you know, mm-hmm. about creating that family unit. So I feel like... Yeah, he's huge in the family. Prior, yeah, he's huge in the family, the, the family, the unit business. And I feel like when they maybe were having trouble, I feel like Jada would, wanted to find her individuality while Will wanted to try to mend and fix and fix the, the family unit foundation. Mm-hmm. And I feel like she needed to go out and figure out her her situation. So I feel like 
and you get the, you get the sense that one Augustine didn't ask for Will's permission because like there's only one. Per- she see, she even said that. Oh yeah, like, that part was weird. Permission you can ask. Yeah, you can only ask me for my permission or something like that. And the way yeah, the way August worded like, that wrong. <laughs> yeah, and the way I was when he was like, um, like oh, I'm gonna get you back gives me the impression that she did something to hurt him before there was ever an agreement for them to split up. Yeah, that was that when he said that both times, she's she's like, oh, you so petty. He's like, he's like, no, nah, no, but really, I'm like, that was half joking, half serious. So either he's like, already he gotten her she... back or. <laughs> she's like, he, no, he was like, I'm gonna get you back. She's like, I don't think anyone needs to get anyone back. She's like, no, like, but I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> like, like, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get you back, and I'm just like, here's the thing. This is, I hate to say it, this is some of the best acting that Will has done in a, in a hot minute. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, which is weird because this is just him being extremely vulnerable and real with his like wife that he loves and his love for 25 plus years. But like, I don't think I've ever seen this level of like candor or candidness come out in some of his recent roles, which is fucking wild to me to see. Like, I'm like, man, if you could tap into this shit for your acting role, bro, that Oscar would have been yours years ago. If you had tapped into this shit four or five years ago when it first happened. Wait, say that last part again. Uh, I saying if he's like tapped into this pain four or five years ago when it first happened, I feel like some of them uh, some of them roles he did <laughs> would have hit mad different. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And I think that man, just just opening this whole this whole thing up again mm-hmm. could probably reopened some some wounds. I'm sure. Like yeah. once that camera cut off, like granted they ended with that fist bump, but. I don't know. You don't know how it was when the, the camera stopped rolling. You know, so he and fist bumped his wife. Like, man, not like a fist- kiss or a hug. He is like bad marriages for life. I'm like, oh boy. And I'm, maybe I'm even in context, this, that sounds weird. I felt like if you look back at it when they fist bumped, they're fist bumping each other, but she's looking down and he's like looking directly at her, which mm-hmm. I feel like subtly implied that she feels guilty about what she had done. I I think I think what really did it is him making her admit what it was. And I think there's a I do think there's kind of a conversation there about when when the woman kind of fucks up in the relationship, her being held accountable for it. I think this is one of the really big cases of that cuz I think had the relationship with August either one not existed or two, it was clearly like an open relationship type deal and he just got caught up and got his heart broken, it would have played out way differently. Yeah. So do you think that as of right now, they they actively have an open relationship or do you think that was an incident in time in which um, other people were lying to their message, their marriage? I, I do think that as much as they've denied it, I do think um, they have a, an open marriage type uh, relationship. But at the same time, I don't think August was part of that. Mm, you think that was a separate I think that was a separate to their, to their right. agreement? Yeah, I think that was exclusive to the whole in- incident about them being separated. Maybe that was what inspired the idea for it. Um, Because I know there's always been rumors about Will being with other people. There's been rumors about Jada being with other people. I remember there were rumors that she was dating Mark Anthony way back when, when I was um, when I was a kid. Uh, So like those rumors have been around and if they have an open one or not, at the end of the day, that's their business. That doesn't affect me. I think, I mean, the whole situation is their business. It doesn't affect me. But at the same time, I do think there are a lot of conversations to have regarding relationships. But I think the August thing was was separate. I think that was unrelated to them potentially having an open relationship. I think that was just a revolt, a result of the separation and Jada trying to kind of 
find what she needs, but it, it just ends up not looking the best because at the end of the day, uh, two black men who are pretty who pretty much don't have a lot of controversy around them ended up getting hurt in the process at different yeah. points. And that's why it ends up not looking good, especially in a time where there's like not a lot of not enough support for black women doing great things and kind mm. of like being the torchbearers of movements. I, I don't think this exactly ends up reflecting the best on Jada and that she can't help the timing of this. Even when she made the post on like Facebook or Twitter, she was like, you know, we were debating when to release this because we didn't know if there was ever a good time, but it seems like there will never be a good time. So we just put it out there, which is a fair point with everything that's been going on with like social justice and the marches and the virus and everything. I don't know if there was a good time. Now, now we got to be over here watching Will Smith cry. Like that, that <laughs> shit hits. We ain't seen Will Smith cry since what seven pounds? Uh, it was a lot of times this man cried in the movie. Oh man, probably, probably. I don't doubt it. Uh, yeah, it was like maybe seven pounds or whatever that shitty Christmas movie was that he got roped into. But Ooh. yeah, I mean the the whole entanglement situation. I will say the memes that have come out of this are absolutely fucking hilarious. Oh great, they're great. <laughs> yeah, they're they're great. Um, I don't know. You you have any other thoughts? I I had another potential thing. I don't know if you want to talk about it or not. The whole thing with the Zendaya and John David Washington filming in quarantine before we close up. Oh, that that was interesting. I thought that was a really cool project that they kind of kind of got involved with. And as far as the little thing goes, uh, no, we kind of we really we kind of covered everything with that. But all right, I feel like that'll that'll do us for the week. Aaron, my man, where can people find you at? You can find me on the Instagram at the real Aaron Alexander. That is my currently only place on the internet you can find me. But well, well versed it is. Check me out, y'all. Oh uh, yeah, check them out. And um, if you're looking for me, you can find me on IG and YouTube and SoundCloud. All at Will the Greatest. That is where you know I post my content. I should have some new videos coming up soon, so that'll be fun to do. As well as this podcast. Um, it, don't forget to leave questions uh, or just DM me <laughs> questions with that hashtag ask ace and um, be good to yourself. Actually, was there something else that I had to mention? I mean, other than like a rest of SoundCloud, yo. Oh, yeah. Check me out on SoundCloud. Uh, arrest the cops that killed Breonna Taylor. Be good to yourselves. Take care of yourselves. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for listening to the show. Have a good one. Peace and blessings.